Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. Hey guys, we got the 2022 Chevy Malibu. As you can see, it's actually dirty right now. And I gotta uh, get it washed. Well, you know, it's a quick review. You now we have the Malibu sign. I'm sorry that I have to do it like in the night. Show the vehicle. Yeah. It's not one of my best reviews. It's like a quick one. Just wanna show you guys how it looks. As you can see, it's really dirty, so. I am gonna get it washed. I'm gonna do a couple of test drive it, test drive and let you guys know how it drive. I already know how it drive, but I'm gonna let you guys know how it drive. Compare, it's a bad comparison because I'm gonna compare it from to my 2008 Toyota Avalon. And that's a bad comparison because let's go inside the vehicle. I'm gonna show you guys the key fob. Is this right here? So unlock, huh? All the way down there, all the way to at the end. Why? I think it is. I didn't see it, but I heard it when you got out earlier. Yeah. So uh, let me turn on the lights. If I could get a little light. Ski locks unlock. As you can see, it's really dirty. You know. It's a rental, uh, so I gotta get it vacuumed and get it washed up. Then everything, two cup holders, uh, turn off the light, push the start, of course, foot on the brake, press the button, it start up, close the door. Uh, <laughs> Why the gas gauge? Okay, the gas, okay, it's on full. <laughs> Okay, it said change engine oil soon. Uh, I might do a reset on it. I didn't really want to, but hey, it's a rental, so I could do that. So it, it's kind of small to me compared to my Avalon, but of course I can't really, it's a bad uh, comparison to the uh, to the the Avalon because the Avalon is a luxury. A luxury vehicle. Oh, let me turn on the fan speed. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not too um thinking about it. Yeah, so it's a bad comparison, you know, comparing to the Toyota Avalon because the Avalon is an extended car. It's a Toyota luxury vehicle, but it's a 2008, so it's still a bad comparison. But look at it, guys, the seats. Like all the way back. I'm gonna let me come outside the vehicle and show you. So it's pretty small, you know, comparing to my car. It's really small, like it's not that much. Okay guys, yeah, so it's not that much space as you can see. Not that much space. It's it's really small if a person is tall or gotta put their seat back a little bit. Not that much space at all. Uh, so, you know, let's get inside. I didn't look at the tire size. It's, uh, I gotta do my homework on that. It's not even telling me. I'm trying to look at this to see. I don't even see it. Oh, it's a 17, 252, 25, 55, or 17, 17 inch wheels. That's the tire size. Uh, okay, my sister's coming. All right, so here, hit okay. Have the Wi Fi. We have the hotspot, everything. Let me kind of back out of there. It showed the controls with the AC. The AC controls, go back in home. You have auto, phone, Wi-Fi, settings, climate, on-star service, auto, Android, Apple CarPlay. I know a lot of people use those features. Uh, so of course my phone is not, not uh, connected. 
and the drive mode park reverse neutral uh dr drive and i can't remember what the l stands for <sighs> you have your bluetooth connection up here your settings how you want to set your thing like you could change change it up here as you can see i'm changing it by hitting up and down and up here is where you actually um and get a little focus in yeah here's like where you could change the um reset the oil life i'm doing a video on that and of course over here as well got different settings as well your auto headlights and everything i mean <laughs> it's not too much good of a review but i'm gonna be driving they have a backup camera and the quality is not even all that great. This is the LT model, by the way. This is not the L, the, they have a full model. I can't remember, it's L, I can't remember the full model of it. I know they got the LS. The LT is the base, the LS, and they have another one. I can't remember, Chevy, but on stop here, no sunroof, you know. Uh, got your lights right here. So anyways, I'm gonna test drive it guys and let you guys know how it drives. All right guys, here I am, backing out. It's right there. Going to drive. All right, so. Go. All right, so I don't know what motor this is. I don't know if it's a four cylinder or I didn't really check, but it's pretty noisy in here, like the way how it drives. You know, it's not. I don't know. I, I think this is a four cylinder model. I don't know. Because my car, you feel more power. There's more power. You guys know what I'm talking about. You feel more power with the Avalon. And the Avalon ride way more smooth than this. So, well, yeah, and this one got the stop, the stop start feature. You know, and you got the options that I think you could take it off. You could turn it on and take it off. You have a little light down there as well, show you. I don't know if it's a USB, I can't really tell. It looks like it. USB down there. All right, so I'm gonna be driving for a while. And the way how the car drives, it don't, it don't drive to me. My, of course, it's a bad comparison to compare it to my 2008 Toyota Avalon Limited. Of course, my Avalon Limited drives way better, way more smooth, even more quieter. This, like, you could hear, I don't know if you, this, if the, the, the video pick up the road noise while I drive, this is more noisy and it struggles to say that it's a 2020 2022 it struggles to to take off you know it struggles to move and as i said i don't know if it's a v6 or a four cylinder model but this car don't drive good at all to me i don't know if anybody has drove it before and say that it drives good, but this vehicle is trash. It drives like garbage. It's like a poor quality, I don't know. I don't want to give it no bad name, you know. It, I know it's not a luxury car, so I can't really, you know, try to compare it too much to my car, because my car is a luxury vehicle, even though it's a 2008. 
and this is 2020 it's, you know it's like a bad comparison but i thought chevy would uh do some more work in like you know um of making the vehicle drives more smooth and a little quiet you know come on it's 2022 uh quieter ride yeah they did good on the electronics with the little wi-fi here you know you have the apple car play the auto android auto the on star uh you know but the way how it drives it sucks it's completely you know this is like a beginning beginner vehicle to me so you have the locks the automatic locks windows you have your uh side mirror controls right here and as i said this is your auto you could brighten the screen and you could dim it as well this right here probably can't even see it yeah but right here close to where the you could turn the light to the auto or the other side but guys i don't know let me guys know what you think i don't know if this is a good review i try my best i know it's in the night time it's not all that great like how i usually do my reviews in the day but I'm doing the best that I can because I got to return the vehicle tomorrow and I didn't really have a good, you know, didn't get a really uh, uh, proper way how I really wanted to review the car. I do have to take it to the car wash as well. But yeah, this is my review for the 2022 LT model of the Chevy Malibu. No, it don't drive good to me. Poor quality. It sucks. It really does. It really does sucks. And I don't know why the the brake make when I step on the brake you hear like a I don't know what is that noise. I don't know why it make that noise to say a brand new vehicle. So Hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, tell me what you think. Tell me if I miss anything. I know we probably have some more features and everything. I do want to show you guys the trunk and see if it have a full size tire. Cause I noticed these days, no matter what vehicle, once it's brand new, uh, any brand new vehicles, I don't think they give, uh, they make cars no more with uh, full size spear. They give you like a donut while my 2008 avalon i have a full spare tire if anything goes wrong i don't know these car companies is just getting cheaper cheaper and cheaper every year they're just making them cheaper and they they so expensive so i dropped the window so now if you hear any wind noise I dropped the window, I turned off the AC, the AC was blowing really cold. You know, the AC really blows, you know, it's, it's, it's expected to blow cold. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate the love and the support. You know, share this video out. Tell me what the what you think leave a comment and before I, I get a Chevy I rather get a Toyota why because of the Toyota reliability it's more reliable it don't break down as fast as any American cars than any other cars I can't even say only American cars it, it will not fail it will not break down like how these other cars will so so that's all I have to share with you guys. Peace out, bye-bye, God bless, take care. And I'm gonna edit this video because I also wanna show you guys the trunk and if the spear and everything in there. So stay tuned. All right guys, so here it is. This is the trunk. 
Let me zoom out. This is the trunk, guys. And hopefully you guys could see. Not too bad. A good amount of trunk space. And no, guys, you get a donut. <laughs> you get a donut, guys. You don't get no full spear. You get a donut. I don't know why they're making their cars like these these days. You get a donut, guys. All right, so this is the button that you press to open the trunk. The key could be in your pocket, or you could do it from the key fob. You just press it and open it. As I said, it's the LT model, as you can see right there. So let's close the trunk. Uh, I got another look at it. I'm sorry to make the video in the night, but hey. Look at the wheels, turn on the flash. Look at the wheels, guys. Oh. Malibu sign right there. The wheels. Show you guys the front grill. Still gotta take it to wash to the front grill. See it, guys. Front grill. So, still gotta get it vacuumed, and I'm gonna get it, uh, get it washed, guys. So, yep, get it vacuumed. I'm gonna get it washed for you guys. 2022 Chevy Malibu LT model. Chevy Malibu LT model, guys. What you guys think? Alright guys, I'm about to show you guys on the hood. Uh, that up. This is how it look. Hold on, let me put this thing up to hold up the top. Alright, so this is how it looks. Take 0W20 motor oil. The Ecotech. This is supposed to be closed. I don't know why that was open. Windshield wiper. Coolant. Uh, I think that's brake fluid back there. Over here is where the battery located. Yeah. This is how the engine bay look like, guys. Yep, this is how it looks. Takes a good look. Take a good look at it, guys. Alright guys, so just got it done. So you probably could hear the vacuum in the background, but it's really clean. Nice. Didn't really show you guys down there. Got an aux cord, USB, two USB, two USB. This is in the glove box. Got a sanitizer, sanitizing cloth down there. So it's pretty clean. All right, so show you guys that, and I'm gonna show you guys around in the vehicle one more time. So I got it washed; it looks way better. Uh, let me get some uh, clarity. So you have two. Uh, I like this when the car have the two uh, AC back here that for the passengers. Got two pouches. So that's how it looks. That's how it looks, guys. Little cup holder right there at the side. Alright. 
so as you can see it looks take off the light it looks way more cleaner I know that is in the nighttime but it looks way cleaner guys way cleaner all beautiful black black on black 2020 my bad 2022 Chevy Malibu really clean 17 inch wheels yeah not bad at all I just don't like the way how it drives I really don't like the way how it drives guys you could lock you could lock it by touching the button and you can unlock it by touching the button as well with the key in your pocket and I'm gonna show you guys the key fob once again key fob look like the normal Chevy key lock on lock this is the auto start pop the trunk your alarm so here it is guys 2022 Chevy Malibu just got it clean got it washed got it vacuum inside out it's real nice it's a nice vehicle it looks nice you know for a starter I know if you guys don't have the money to get a Toyota or Honda especially a Lexus because Toyota is Lexus Toyota is what make Lexus anyways that's just a luxury package but if you want to get something cheaper I mean you could go for this 1.5 liter uh, Chevy Malibu you know four cylinder motor is a CVT transmission but it's not reliable guys it's not gonna last long as a Toyota not at all but it's beautiful it's nice it looks nice it looks nice but to me it don't drive nice maybe because I'm used to my Toyota Avalon which is a 2008 it drives so smooth it's real quiet you know you don't feel that that much road bumps just the way how they make the make make the car but there you have it guys I really appreciate it thanks for watching you know 2022 Chevy Malibu let me go back inside the car start it up uh, push the start as you can see it said uh, change engine oil soon I'm gonna reset it before I take it back and I'm gonna let them know that they need the oil change but I'm gonna reset it just to make a video about it have this light down there and it shows you everything the aux USB and another USB I guess to charge your phone and the original cigarette lighter port if you want to use that charger glove box turn on the light that's how the glove box looks looks like I hope I get the whole vehicle this light right here is <laughs> this is the cheap one you know it don't have the thing that block you from getting blind by somebody with a bright light behind you you have the on star feature and all the features right here let me take off the light so you can see properly everything there climate control OnStar, Apple CarPlay, Auto, Android Auto, Wi-Fi, the settings. It's touch through touch screen as well. So you could just scroll it, scroll it, go down, go back up, language, go back home. Yeah. The settings that's in the middle for the dash is right here. Uh, and down here you could control the traction. So you could take it off, or turn you could turn it on or turn it off. You have the option i like that option because for my car i don't really have that option to turn it off and they have so much power because it's front wheel drive as well i think my car have like two 268 horsepower so if it if the road is wet and my tire is no good in the front and i try to step on the gas my car will like it will the car will jump like it'll feel that little shake on the road like how, do, how can I exp ex explain it? When you step on the gas, it like it slides. It don't want to move, it jumps.
because of the power, the front wheel, the front wheel drive power, and because the road is wet and the tire is no good. And my tracks, my traction light will come on. It'll start blinking. <laughs> so I had to take my time to move off, to take off. I really have to take my time with my in my uh, Avalon take off if my tire in the front is no good or it's kind of wet especially when it wet I experienced that a lot of times when it's wet so this one got the stop start stop features I think I cover everything automatic locks windows your lights over here you can control the lighting over here let me turn on the light to show you guys what I'm talking about it's not even letting me no more wow it's not even letting me no more but yeah, this right here where my hands at right here. I know it's kind of dark, but this right here. See my finger down there. You twist it. When you twist it, it dim it. You twist it all the way. It brighten up the gauges and the light for the uh, the instrument in the middle. This right here is the lighting. Turn it on auto or just leave it on auto. Your wipers. Your you know, your uh, indicator, left, right, your hazards right here in the middle. This is the start stop. You know, you could, the auto stop, you could turn it off, turn it on. So you have options. Yeah. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. 20. 22 Chevy Malibu LT model 1.5 liter CVT transmission four cylinder motor peace bye bye take care i'm out get into the money 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 get into the money